Recently, at COP26, 120 nations came together in an effort to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees. While a 1.5 degree rise will still bring significant changes with it, to stand any chance of saving what remains of our frozen planet and saving ourselves from the devastating consequences of its loss, we must stick to this commitment and honor it, no matter how challenging it might be. We know that climate change is happening. We know the main driver of climate change is human activities, is human emissions. As a whole human species, we are not recognizing the impact that we're having and the fact that we do need to do something. But the important thing is that I believe all of these processes are reversible. If everybody can make the effort of doing just one thing, reducing their carbon footprint. Consume less, think about what we need, what we really want. Think more sensibly about the journeys we take, about the food we eat, how that's produced. Figure out a lifestyle that is sustainable. And we're right at the point where we can generate all the power that we need from renewable sources like solar and wind. To do that, you need to really transform society as a whole. We can speak to our representatives to try and reconsider energy policies. If enough of us are educated about the effects of carbon in the atmosphere. Even the most poorly educated politician will respond to what their citizenry wants. The awareness and the concern is greater now than it ever has been. So that gives us some hope. It won't be easy, but it's doable. If you can do something about it, then do it instead of just thinking about it. If you can do something about it, then do it. We can do it. It's within our power to do it. We can do it. We must do it. then there will be a future for the planet.